Hello, today we're speaking about numbers and first part of our topic is dates and years. How to say dates and years in English? We all use numbers for it. How to say it correctly? How to say it quickly? Let's find out today. Are you sure that you know the numbers? If you do, let's practice, let's take a little test. Uh, so first, can you read this date? What date is it? 19 of January 1995. 15 of December 1876. 29 of April 2005 31 of September 2007 and 13 of May 2021 If you could read these days before I did, that means you know everything and can skip the rest. But if you could not say it before I did, that means that we have to review the numbers, we have to learn how to say dates correctly. So, let's start when you are ready. In every date, we have three parts. And there are three parts of the date. Part number one is day. Right, the number of the day. Next is month. Uh, what month is it? And the last place is for a year. So to say a date, we have to name a day, a month and a year. Let's see the example. For example, 15 of May 19 57 31 of November 2021 These are three parts of the day. You usually see all these numbers together. So it's like a code. You have to break this chord in three parts. A day, month and a year. And in this case, you will be able to read it correctly. In this case, you will understand what does it mean. So, let's see, let's take a look at every part separately. We are going to start with the months. And months is the easiest because it has numbers from 1 to 12. You all know numbers from 1 to 12, how to write them, how to say them, uh, but months sometimes cause difficulties. So let's see. Month number one is January. After January, we have February. Next, March. Then, number four is April. After April, there is a May. May is month number five. Then, June, month number six. July is month number seven. August, month number 8, September comes after August, number 10 is October, month number 11 is November, and month number 12 is December. Now, while we see all of the months, I would like to explain about the seasons. Seasons are a little bit 
confusing uh, because season starts it doesn't start together with the numbers and actually season start right here at number 12 uh, it starts on number 12 and ends on number 2 and this is season number 1 this is winter so winter starts in December January and February three months after winter there is spring 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 months are March April and May summer goes in June July and August and the last three months October November and December is autumn or also you can hear the word fall this is another name of this season autumn or fall so winter actually starts in December I know that Thai months are a little bit different right so you have summer somewhere here in March April and May but most of the world uh, has seasons according to what I have showed you so remember these seasons next let's speak about the days now, days usually have numbers from 1 to 31 some of the months have 30 days some of the months have 31 day and only one month February has 28 or sometimes 29 days and so days are numbers 1 to 30 one since we already revised numbers 1 to 12 with num with months uh, let's speak about so-called teen numbers from 13 to 20 and 10 numbers from 20 to 90 there is a big difference right? 13 and 30 where does the stress go in all numbers they have the ending teen like this most of the stress goes to the end so you say 13 and in 10 numbers you put the stress on the first syllable like 13 it sounds differently 13 and 30 listen and say it together with me 13 30 and this is true for all other numbers let's see 14 40 15 50 let's underline these syllables again so 14 40 15 50 this is the difference and by the way note that in 40 there is no letter u and we have letter u in 14 but we don't have letter u in 40 this is the correct spelling now let's continue 16 16 60 let's say it with me 16 60 17 70 17 70 
eighteen eighty eighteen eighty and nineteen ninety nineteen ninety now let's say it one more time all together thirteen thirty fourteen forty fifteen fifty sixteen sixty seventeen seventy eighteen eighty nineteen ninety be sure to say these numbers correctly otherwise people will not understand you this is very important and if you have this number be sure to say 70 if you have this number be sure to say 17 and very often people do not understand what do you mean 13 or 30 and if you say a number be sure to say it correctly 13 and 30 14 and 40 15 and 50 this is all a big difference so remember to pronounce it correctly now it's time to speak about years we already revised months and numbers 1 to 12 we completed days and numbers 13 to 20 and 20 to 90 and right now let's speak about years let's take a look at this year how can we say it well, many students would say 1957 and it's partly correct but when we speak about the dates we never say like this and we always imagine imagine to break the date in two parts let's see we break it into parts just like this and first part is 19 and so that's why we say 19 second part is 57 so the same say 57 so the full date will sound like 1957 if you want to pronounce a year you have to break it like this for example my mother was born in 1957 or my father was born in 1957 now you cannot say my father was born in 1957 no this is how we break the date uh, let's see take a look here we use teen and t numbers right so that's why be sure to sound it correctly 1957 and put the correct stress that's why this is important let's take a look at the other example let's continue to speak about years and let's take a look at this date how to pronounce it how to break it into parts so first let's start here now you have two simple numbers one is 18 and the other one is 96 
So this year is 1896. So this year is 1896. But by the way, let's convert this year to Thai calendar. Right? In Thai calendar, you have different years. If you want to convert a, a Western date into Thai calendar, you have to add number 543. Right, and in Thai calendar it will be this year. So how to pronounce this year? Again, break it into numbers. Uh, 2439. So in Thai calendar this year would be 2439. Let's move on. Let's see another example. Okay, this one is very simple. Break it into 1998. When you have date like this, be especially careful with the stress. 19 uh, and 90. 1998. Lastly, let's see the numbers after 2000. After 2000, you can say it in two options. You can say 2021, or you can break it apart and say 2021. It's optional. Another year, 2015. Yes, after 2000, you can say like this, but you also can say 2015. Everything is correct, but only after the year 2000. If you're sure that you know the numbers, let's practice. And it's better if you do it as a homework. 19 of January 1995. 15 of December 1876. 29 of April 2015. 31 of September 2017 13 of May 2021 This will be your homework So in your classroom I will ask you to write down the numbers in words so if you listening right now, take a picture. This will help you with the homework. And now is my and your favorite part. Let's practice what we have learned. Let's spell the numbers while doing the Kahoot. So right now, close all your notebooks. Let's go and play the game. <laughs> 